Hi there, Jeannie Rainey again for part two of Stamparatus Techniques. This first technique is called Aligning Stamps to Fit Punches. First of all, I made a template by punching on cardstock. Now I'm aligning up my stamps. I'll position them and adhere them to the Stamparatus plate. These are photopolymer stamps, which are very sticky, so it takes a little bit to get them positioned right. Nice thing about photopolymer is that they're clear and you can see through them. Once we get this positioned, we'll be able to stamp and repeat and they will be perfectly aligned to the punch. Now I take my cardstock and I ink up my stamps. And theoretically, they will be perfectly aligned to my punch. Okay, they're not inked up to my satisfaction, so I can re-ink. That's one of the beautiful things about the Stamparatus. You can re-ink. It's better. Perfectly aligned. Quick and easy. The punch is called Umbrella Builder and the stamp set is Pretty Parasol. Now I want to show you a wreath project template. Cut out a square and then turn it at an angle and cut out another square for our template. <clears throat> Pick out a small stamp to create our wreath. Then you position it adhere it to the plate and then get our cardstock to start building our wreath. Then I'll ink up my stamp. Stamp the first time, and then I turn my paper to the next notch, lining up the corners. Oh, you can see that I didn't position my stamp properly. I had to do it over. So I repositioned my stamp. We're going to start over. Hopefully you learn by my mistake when you position your first stamp, when you position it, you have to make sure it, it won't go off the paper when you turn your corners. Then you continue until you have a full circle.
you can just about take any shape and make a wreath out of it. Isn't that fun? This is under my umbrella stamp set. I just picked out a small flower stamp. The next technique I'm going to show is water reflection. The first thing I'm going to do is determine the halfway point of my paper that I'll be stamping on. Take my stamp and position it upside down at the halfway point. Then I'll adhere it to the plate. Now, my first stamp, I'm going to stamp on my silicone mat. See, my image is upside down. The ink is on the mat, so I put my cardstock on the mat and rub it um, so that the ink transfers to the cardstock. Wipe off my silicone mat. And then I'm going to stamp again, and that's what gives me the reflection. So when I color this, the bottom portion I'll color in blue and it will make it look like water, like a reflection on water. Wildly happy is the stamp set. It's adorable, has lots of little babies. Campology is a new stamp set. I'm going to be using this trees. This next technique is called thump and spritz. First thing I'm going to do is stamp with pear pizzazz. Ink up with pear pizzazz. And the thump, thumping technique is done with markers. I have three other colors of green plus a brown for the trunks. Go ahead and put my trunks in first. And then the thumping technique, you use the brush side of the marker and you want to use the side of the brush. So you just thump it randomly and hold the marker somewhat at an angle. So the side of the brush is just hitting the stamp. Each color I'm using, I'm going at a little different angle. I want it to be very random. I'm going to take the plate off and spritz it because I don't want my cardstock to get wet. So each time you do this, it's going to look different depending on how much ink you use and how much you spritz. I find that I can get at least two prints each time I do it. So grab another piece of paper. I'll spritz up the ink again to get it to spread. It's very sheer, but you can see it still looks like trees. So here's my finished products after they've dried. I'll show you another one I had done previously. I didn't spritz quite as much. You see how they all look different. Thank you for joining my second techniques class on Stamparatus.